Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the other card game that uh, was really, really hyped during the pandemic and why I think this card game has a much better survival rate than MetaZoo and understanding the two different card games and the hype that involved both card games, one of them being Flesh and Blood. You can't tell me it was not hyped around May early May 2021, these boxes were being sold for $500 a box. Now, you did get a promo and a playmat if you bought two of them. You're, you had to buy two of them. So you couldn't buy a single box for $500. You had to minimally pay the $1,000, a large amount of money. Uh, when you're talking about a new card game. Uh, $1,000 can get you a lot of money. Uh, can buy a lot of things right now. And it was the uh, first edition Monarch, which I pulled up here. Uh, it's selling for $65 a box. Uh, there was a playmat, which isn't worth any money. Uh, after shipping, you're probably going to make a dollar on the playmat. And then there is a promo card. There are two promo cards that could be, one would be $10, one would be the $100 promo card. They have different numbers on them. Um, the $100 promo card, actually, last sale was $65. They're just asking for $100. A lot of people... In Flesh and Blood, they probably know this better than me, liquidity is not nearly as high as Pokemon or, or Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh! Cards don't sell that often. Maybe they sell one or four a day, but it's not like Pokemon where they, on eBay, there you type in Pokemon, there's millions of people selling Pokemon cards at any given moment of the day. And then you go on TCG Player and you look at the volume of that. So um, I'm going to talk about uh, the differences and and just the emails I'm constantly getting. I've read a few, by this time, hopefully I've read a few, and they basically have the same structure. They invested in it. They use the word investments in the email, and now they want to put the investment in something better. So if you watch, uh, his name is Saint, and he made a video about Alex, uh, another it, it almost reminds me of that. So whatever frustration that he's showing about that, where people are approaching him, and I think his best quote uh, from the video is, they're trying to sell me a $20 bill for $100. That's exactly what the Flesh and Blood community is doing to me, unsolicited, by the way. I, I have nothing to do with Flesh and Blood at all. I don't own, I might own one Flesh and Blood card, you know, to think about it. I get sent random stuff. Um, I might own, I, I've never owned a MetaZoo card. Uh, I know Nick Strength and Pokemon did offer to send me one, but I turned it down because I never will own a MetaZoo card. So I'll put it that way. But Flesh and Blood, it seemed like a real game. And that's kind of why it's still alive. You know, the, one of them is in bankruptcy, MetaZoo, and one of them is still going strong. And um, one of them was meant to be played as a game. The other one was meant just for the memes, right? You look at the artwork of one of them, then you look at the artwork of the other one, and you're just like, okay, this is not the same. So where, uh, where do I think this is? I think Flesh and Blood did a good job. They made it a player's game. They essentially talked Rudy to delete his videos about it, where he was making, you know, attacking Flesh and Blood. They probably called him up this, the very same hour and then told him, take off the video for homie. He's still one of us, one of us, one of us. This is just kind of the danger. Now, we talked about One Piece. I think it would be unfair for me not to say that there are other card games like this that people have put money into recently, and they lost it all, or lost a good chunk of it. Uh, the Monarch First Edition booster box is not going to be a $500 box, I don't think, ever in the history of time. So you bought at the very, very peak. Uh, even 20 years from now, I'd be surprised if it breaks you know, 200 given the stigma associated with it. Now, I don't dislike flesh and blood. I just don't know enough to really make a, I, I just know the numbers. And the numbers, again, the number on the new box is $85. Watching a Rudy video where he said these singles are skyrocketing. If that is true, then how come the box is $85? I mean, if the singles are skyrocketing, or the boost, or the price of the set skyrocketing, wouldn't it be, I don't know, five hundred dollars? Like you sold Monarch First Edition for. So anyway, the, the finances just don't—they don't make too much sense to me. 
Uh, the liquidity is a massive issue. You can see the time that these are selling. It's not Moonbrion. It's not the Moonbrion of Pokemon, which seems to sell. like in, in one convention, the same Moonbrion can sell probably 10, 15, 20 different times to different vendors and customers. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Uh, this pr pretty interesting experiment, right? Or get traded or get, you know, put into a deal of some type and it, it goes. So when we have a discussion about investing in cards, just don't do it, please. Just please don't do it. As someone who invested in cards and heavily regrets it, and my, all, not all my investments did poorly. Uh, my reserve list investments when I was buying Underground Sea for $200, that, I mean, that basically covers any losses that I would have on the sealed product. And my Pokemon Evolving Skies will cover any losses I... Well, I mean, I have celebrations, which is not great, but... Uh, uh, so anyway, my, my point is very simple. Um, this is not a real investment. And when you're talking about TCG cards, if you have to invest, I would say the big free magic Pokemon, maybe Yu-Gi-Oh. I invested in Yu-Gi-Oh and I lost my ass on Yu-Gi-Oh. So I, I don't know, but maybe you can make money on sealed. I, I don't really know what that marketplace is like. I just invested in Ultimate Arts because I was told that was very cool looking. It was cool looking, just not worth as much money as uh, you, you would believe it would be. So back to the idea of, you know, what was the biggest investments on 2021 from the card standpoint? Number one, of course, it was MetaZoo. It was 100% MetaZoo, right? Um, and look at where they are today. They're in bankruptcy court. Number two was Flesh and Blood even though their game is still going very strong and things are going very well I, from the gameplay mechanics and from the play group mechanics, I'm told that everything is going really well. It's growing. As an investment, it surely was not the 1,000 or the 999.69 investment that Rudy made it seem to be. Uh, in fact, I, I don't think you can invest in something that's sub 100 a box um, I mean, what, what would be your outcome to double, triple, and but like, if you don't have any boxes at that price outside of, um, your oldest boxes, I think their oldest box, their alpha WTR box is 3000 a box. That's not Pokemon first edition guys. And that's not alpha magic, the gathering that's $3,000 a box. It's like a case of collector's edition and magic, the gathering. And maybe that's why you guys love the game is because it's cheap and affordable and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm here to tell you, I play a lot of card games that are dead now and they're cheap and affordable. And I, that's what I enjoy most about these card games. Um, now, it's really important. And again, the big difference between MetaZoo and Flesh and Blood is one of them is not printing new cards. Therefore, the community is very toxic and noxious, right? The other one is. There's something you get excited about. You know, one of the most uh, trafficked in terms of traffic on YouTube is when you cards are spoiled and new sets come out. That's when you get a lot of traffic and interest in the card game. Well, if the card game is in bankruptcy, you're not going to get that. So, you know, good luck to Flesh and Blood, but I don't think you can view it as an investment opportunity anymore. I don't think MetaZoo was an investment opportunity, of course, even now. I think it's a very poor opportunity. But what do I know, right? Uh... Just the old dinosaur in the TCG space. Ready for that meteorite. Meteor to hit Earth. <laughs>